Hi, everybody, and thank you very much again for coming back to our website to watch the, uh, the teardown of the uh, Tesla Model Y. Uh, today, I'm going to try and address uh, an issue that some of the people that, uh, that have bought the Model Y have had regarding the uh, heat pump. The heat pump, they say, is too noisy. Now, we never got a chance to really do a lot of testing. We wanted to get into the teardown. But, uh, but let me show you a little bit about what the differences are between the Model 3 and the Tesla Y. So let's start here uh, with the compressor. Uh, this is an, AC, an air conditioning compressor. You have one of these in pretty much every car. Um, this is what makes it cool in your car when you're, um, uh, when you're driving and it's hot outside. This, uh, this compressor right here was uh, contained inside of this, uh, this uh, product. Um, the, um, the, the product um, that we have here is a case that goes all the way around the outside of the AC compressor. And uh, that, in essence, was what kept the noise down. <clears throat> so let's move over here because what we've got here is the heat pump that's, uh, that's inside, of the, inside the Model Y. Now, first off, I'm going to show you something we haven't seen very often. Um, this is isolated, which means that it's allowed to jump around. And when something's allowed to jump around, that means that this thing is going to shake. There's no question about it. And that shake does not turn into a noise vibration and harshness that you'd find inside the car. So people might look at that and say, oh my God, that, that's not right. But this is right. This is the way to do it. It would have been great, maybe, if someone would have been able to uh, design that inside of here to, uh, to cut the noise down, but, uh, but they didn't. So let's just talk about what we've got. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to give you the simplest kind of explanation for how this heat pump works. Over here we have a compressor. The compressor is going into the body of the heat pump. The heat pump or the compressor will crush, crush the gas down because it comes in as a gas. <clears throat> it'll, crush, it'll crush that down and then it'll send it out in this pipe. This pipe will be hot and it'll make a choice as to whether to go into the condenser or whether it's going to go up here and into the body of the car. If it goes into the car, you're heating the car. If it goes by it, it's going to be in here. Then that means that it's trying to chill down that heat so that we can, uh, we can we can use it for air conditioning later on. When the, um, <clears throat> when the gases, when the liquid, I should say, turns into gases, then what happens is it comes back on this bigger tube, goes back into the compressor and the cycle is, uh, is returned. So now what we can see here is just a basic in introduction, I guess, to how a heat pump works. I recommend, if you're really interested in it, go and have, have a look on the, uh, on the internet for heat pumps and you can find out all the, uh, all the other things like dispersal valves and things like that. <clears throat> this is, um, I think it's a, a good idea to have the heat pump as opposed to the uh, PTC heaters and all the other stuff that they had inside. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm also happy about the fact that they've only got one, we'll call it a radiator. This will have a lot of names, but in essence it's, it's an radiator. So, it has an inlet and an outlet, <clears throat> and an outlet uh, that's going on to, um, that's where the coolant is coming in and being cooled so that, uh, so that we can uh, keep all of the, uh, all the different uh, components inside this car uh, cooled. This, this, uh, this radiator is uh, taking the place, this one big radiator is taking the place of all of the, uh, all the radiators that you'd normally see inside of a, a normal EV, uh, EV car. Some guys have as many as three different uh, radiator systems inside. This one here, all in one. I, I, I kind of like that. The other thing is, uh, we can tell, we haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but if you look down here, you can see that this has got a shutter closing so that, uh, so that uh, if the, uh, <clears throat> if the uh, uh, what do you call it? If the uh, 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 car doesn't need the extra wind, it'll, it'll just shut it off. Uh, so that's kind of uh, that's kind of like what we're going to talk about here, just for this little little vignette. 
Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Tip your cash register and have a great day. Bye.